everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you are new here then hello, welcome, my name is Ruby and um, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, it literally means so so much to me. If you like these kind of videos, please do let me know and yeah, like I said, do subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. So I am back today with a bit of a different video and it's one that I haven't really seen that many people do, um, maybe I just haven't seen them, maybe they are out there. But it's one of those questions that everybody struggles with, including myself, and that is what to take on a European city break when you can only take hand luggage. I mean, that is just like so difficult. There is absolutely nothing worse than finding some really, really cheap flights, you know, like to Barcelona for the weekend, and you message your mates or your boyfriend or whatever, and you're like, oh, let's go, you know. You're putting your passport details in, you're checking out, you're getting all excited, and then you get to the end and it says, if you want to take a bag with you, you must pay £70 each way. I mean, come on, that's £140 that you could definitely spend better somewhere else. So, I've decided to do a video today to help out that issue because I know at the time you're like, it's fine, we don't need any bags, we'll just take hand luggage, no drama. And then you get to pack and you're like, oh my god, how am I going to get all this in here? <laughs> so, that is what I've decided to do today with this video and that is to show you what you can take for a European city break only using hand luggage. Now, I've said a European city break just because um, that's what I get asked most about, like, you know, what should I take to Paris, what should I take to Barcelona, what should I take to Amsterdam, those kind of places. And I just think it's very hard to take a little handheld case to somewhere a little bit further away, so I've sort of kept it short haul. Um, and yeah, I've also kept it as a city break, so there's no like bikinis or towels or anything like that. I'm really excited for this one actually. So what I've done is I have laid out on the bed here, which I will show you, um, all of the clothes that I want to take with me for this pretend city break I'm going on. I'm going to pack my case and then I might actually book a flight because, you know, why the hell not? <laughs> so I've got all the clothes out here that I want to take with me for this pretend break I'm going on. Um, and I'm going to show you sort of why I've chosen those items and how you can mix and match a lot of those items to give you sort of daytime outfits, evening outfits and stuff like that. So yeah, so I'm in my bedroom, which is a room that I've not filmed in before, but this is normally where I pack because this is where I keep all of my clothes. So what I tend to do is I put my case on my bed and then I get out all the clothes that I want to take with me and sort of like get them into piles or sections so I can kind of manage them a little bit better. One last thing as well, um, this is obviously my kind of style and my taste and like so for example for an evening I don't tend to get really really dressed up so I put sort of more casual evening wear in but obviously you can kind of substitute it depending on what you're up to or where you're going or what you want to wear. This is just a way of giving like a little bit of inspiration when you're feeling really really stuck and showing you how you can mix and match outfits to take them into the evening and stuff like that as well. So let's get on with it. Hi everyone, so this is editing Ruby jumping in here, but I just wanted to say that I actually filmed this video a really long time ago. Um, I filmed it back in April, but then I actually lost all of the footage and um, I managed to find it somehow again about a week ago. And I didn't know whether to upload this video because I thought, you know, I filmed this about three months ago now and actually I think the outfits aren't really appropriate for the weather anymore but I actually loved the video so much and I thought you know this can be helpful for people who are maybe in a little bit of a cooler climate um, or you know it might help you next year or might help you in the autumn or anything like that so yeah that is why the outfits are probably a little bit too warm for the weather that we have right now in Europe but I wanted to upload it anyway so yeah anyway I hope that you guys enjoy the video and yeah let's go. Okay guys so hopefully you can see I've got all these bits laid out here um, so I'm going to talk you through them and um, show you kind of the outfits that I would make. I've even been super realistic and I've included toiletries and everything. So yeah, let's go. So I'm just going to show you everything sort of laid out on the bed. So as you can see, I have my little hand luggage case there. Um, and then I've got shoes, accessories, a little bag. I've got some pyjamas. <laughs> And then if we just pan over here, you can see that I have the main bulk of my clothes. So I've got some trousers, I've got a t-shirt, obviously my toiletries are up there. Um, I've got a shirt, I've got a dress, a blazer, another shirt, and then in that corner is my airport outfit. So I'm going to talk you through that one as well. So this video is about clothes and shoes, it's not about toiletries, etc, etc. So obviously I've, I put them there just for show, to show you guys that you can also get some toiletries in as well. Um, but I'm not going to go into detail about what you should take and stuff like that. Maybe I'll save that for another video. So, sorry if the lighting's changed a little bit, my battery just died so I just need to go and replace it. Um, but I wanted to say as well, I have not yet tried to get all of this into my case. So this is going to be the first time I try. I didn't want to like do it before and check that it all fitted because I just felt like that wasn't like very natural and I just wanted to see how we got on kind of thing. So I'm gonna look really, really stupid if this stuff does not fit in my case. 
but we'll try. We will ram it in, don't you worry. So, first thing that I want to talk about is what I would wear to the airport. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you might know that I normally go for a really, really comfy look at the airport, so I normally wear joggers and a hoodie or something like that, and I love doing that for, like, long-haul flights and stuff like that, but for European flights, if you're travelling for, like, two to three hours, you don't really need to be in joggers to be comfy, you can just, you know, whack on a pair of jeans, and I also think it's really important when you're only taking hand luggage is that one of your outfits you wear, obviously, to go in. So, first thing I'm going to start with is a pair of blue jeans. These ones are from Zara, they were in my latest to Sarah Hall, I'll link them all down below. Everything that I can from this video will be linked down below. Uh, I've got these ones, they're super comfy because they're really, really stretchy, so I thought about that one, picking them for the flight. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna start my outfit with these, and these are also gonna carry on into the weekend because they're gonna go with a lot of other things as well. And then I've got a black t-shirt, so this is the Topshop roll sleeve ones that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Um, they're so, so comfy and really lightweight and um, they're great for, you know, wearing in England with a jacket, but then also when you take your jacket off, you can wear them abroad. It's a little bit warmer, so I've got obviously the jeans and the black t-shirt and I would tuck the black top in and just pull it out a little bit just to um, make it sort of more my style. And then what I would normally do is chuck a leather jacket on over the top because obviously this is gonna keep you warm when you're in the UK and also when you're on the plane because planes can be really, really cold. Um, and also you can then use this um, when you're abroad, maybe in the evenings if you pop it over your shoulders or something like that. So it's a really versatile piece and although it's a little bit heavier and bulkier, I wouldn't pack it in my hand luggage case because it would just take up so much room, but I can wear it on the flight and then obviously when we land, I'll just carry it until we get to our hotel. I would also wear a pair of trainers for the flight. These are gonna come so in handy for the rest of the weekend as well, but um, these are perfect because they're comfy. Um, you can like walk easily in them if you're walking from gates or you know getting your luggage or something like that. Actually, no, you won't be getting your luggage because you've only got hand luggage. <laughs> um, but you know what I mean, just really, really comfy, easy things to chuck on, and they're quite bulky as well, so it's quite good to wear them now. Um, and then obviously you can wear them for a lot of your outfits when we are away. I'm acting like we're all going together. Maybe we should. Anyway, okay. So that is the first outfit. So obviously that's an outfit in itself. It's your traveling outfit. Um, so I'm gonna count that as outfit number one. So guys, this is outfit number one and this is my airport outfit. So I have on the blue jeans, pair of trainers, black t-shirt and my black leather jacket. So first up, I'm gonna sort of go through everything that I'm gonna pack and then I'll show you how I've made outfits out of them. So I'm gonna imagine that this city break that we're going to is roughly around 20 degrees, give or take, you know, either side, just because that's how I've sort of packed for. That's the kind of weather that I would expect in a European city break in the spring. So yeah, anyway, first item of shoes I have are these. Now these are just some brown sandals. Obviously you can get whichever ones you want. These ones are from June. Um, these are amazing because they actually squish like really flat. Like as you can see, there's not really much to them. So you can really squish them in your suitcase. They're also amazing because they're this brown tan color which goes with so much. It goes with white, it goes with denim, it goes with black. It's just perfect. So it's such a good neutral color. So yeah, I'm gonna take them with me. You can tell they've got a lot of wear out. Look at that. Obviously I have the trainers, which um, I'm gonna wear for my traveling outfit. So these are veggers. Um, they're so, so comfy, great for walking around. I think this is an essential, especially when you're going on a city break, is that you have some really, really comfy shoes because you can be doing a lot of walking and there is nothing worse than getting a blister and then not being able to wear the right shoes for the next couple of days. So I'm gonna include them. And then I've got a pair of heels. Now obviously you can change this up depending on what you're planning on doing. Perhaps if you don't really like heels, you could pack a pair of boot heels or um, some wedges or something like that. But I have got these heels. The reason that I've chosen these is because they're very, very neutral as well, just like the sandals. So these are from Zara, but a really long time ago, but I will obviously try and link some alternatives. The reason I think they're really good is obviously because they are this like perspex. So they really do go with so many things. It's not like, you take a black pair of heels and they don't really go with blue denim or whatever it is. So these are perfect for um, mixing and matching with loads of different outfits. So yeah, they are my three shoes. So I've got sandals, trainers and a pair of heels. Okay, so next let's talk about tops. So I have three tops and then four if you include the one that you traveled with. So first up, I have a white t-shirt. This one is from Topshop. I love Topshop white t-shirts. You'll know, they're the best. They're not see-through. They're just perfect fit, they're great. So I will bring a white t-shirt wherever I am going because I live in them. So a white t-shirt had to be on my list. So that's t-shirt number one. 
obviously the black t-shirt as well is very similar to that one so that's t-shirt number two and then the next top that I've got is a linen shirt now I love linen shirts I think they look so so good during the day just wearing them really casually with a pair of denim jeans but then I also think you can dress these up quite well maybe if you unbutton it a little bit and pair it with a load of gold jewelry and stuff like that and obviously linen's so good because it's a really really nice breathable fabric um, and also it squishes up pretty small now obviously you do have to be aware with linen that it does crease but to be honest I quite like the crease look of this shirt so as you can see this has been squished up um, it's pretty creased but I quite like that I think it looks you know it looks how linen's meant to look so I'm not too bothered about it being creased obviously I'm sure a lot of the hotels that you would stay in would have an iron anyway so I wouldn't worry too much about screwing this up in your case because you can just iron it and then lastly the next top that I have brought with me is this black satin shirt this one is from Zara a little while ago it's actually a bodysuit um, but the reason that I packed this is because I thought this was perfect for an evening. Um, it's literally just plain black shirt, nothing too exciting. But I think this will go so, so nicely with some denim jeans and heels for a little bit of like a classy evening look. Um, so yeah, I popped that one in as well. It's also because it's like silky, I literally just screw it up like that and it's absolutely fine. So that is the fourth top. Okay, so the next clothing items I'm going to bring with me are these trousers. They are from Topshop. They were featured in my Spring Essentials video. Um, and they're really, really good trousers because you can wear them casually and you can dress them up. So um, they're this kind of like, kind of like beigey colour with these tortoiseshell buttons. And then they go down into a bit of a tapered leg. Now, I think these are really cool with a pair of trainers. And they work so, so well there for every day. But I also think these work really well with a pair of heels just because of the shape of them and the length of them um, it's kind of perfect to wear with heels as well so I think a pair of trousers like this are a very versatile piece um, I like the light color as well so I think that's gonna be really really nice abroad um, so yeah I'm gonna bring those with me they're a little bit dirty actually from when I dropped ice cream down them when I was in Italy um, and I haven't yet got that stain out however um, I really really recommend these as a good one to bring and um, you know you can just chuck them in your suitcase easy and then if they need an iron when you get there then fine but to be honest I don't remember ironing these when I took them to Italy so I think that'd be fine. Okay so next up is a dress and this one you guys will remember from last summer it's from Topshop it was massive literally sold out so quickly um, and I absolutely love it and the reason that I love this is because I think you can wear this from day to night so easy. I'll obviously try and link similar ones down below but it's this long midi dress that has these slits in so it's really nice and breathable um, and then obviously it's just kind of like a shirt style on top and I love this for a couple of reasons. Firstly because like I said you can dress it up and down. Secondly I love that I'm like injecting a little bit of print into this sort of um, packing because kind of felt like I was doing a little bit sort of basic colours, whites and beiges and stuff like that. So if you can inject at least one print, I think that's a really, really nice way of doing it. Um, and yeah, these work so well because you can wear them with sandals. It looks really, really nice with. Also looks really nice with a pair of trainers. And then on an evening, you can pop it with a pair of heels. And I think that looks so, so nice. Really, really cool and chic. I also think this works so nice with a leather jacket over your shoulders as well um, if you're a little bit cold on an evening and then during the day you can obviously just wear it like this because I think this would definitely be like the sort of perfect thing to wear in that kind of temperature. And then lastly I have a blazer because you guys know it would not be a video from me without a blazer in it. So this one is from Topshop. It's a linen one which is one of the reasons that I've chosen it because it's going to be really really lightweight so for example if it did get a little bit chillier during the day you could pop this on over a t-shirt and it would be fine and then equally you can wear it in the evening as well. Now again like I said this is linen and like I was kind of worried it would crease but I don't know why it just doesn't really crease. I don't know if it's fully linen. Hang on. Let me check. So it's 74% viscose and 28% linen. So that is why it doesn't crease as much, which is a bit of a bonus. Um, I love this one. I think it's a great color to pair with blue denim and a white t-shirt. Um, and yeah, I just think it's a really, really great piece. Again, you could even chuck it over your shoulders with this one too. Because I think those colours go really nicely together or something similar. So then I'll just quickly run you through the kind of accessories and stuff that I have packed. So firstly in terms of jewellery, other than the stuff that I wear like every day, I have chucked in these extra bits. So if I just show you. So I've got two hoops here. So one for the day and one for the evening. I really think when you are sort of limited for packing space, then jewellery is such a good way of changing up daytime looks to evening looks. So um, I would wear these smaller hoops during the day, which are from Topshop. Um, love these so much. And then when it got to an evening, 
I've switched them out for some bigger ones, which again are from Topshop, um, just because I think this is gonna dress up my look a little bit more, um, and obviously this takes up no space whatsoever. So the more sort of jewelry and accessory bits that you can fit in, it's definitely worth it because it can really change up your outfits. So talking of accessories, my next one is a belt, and this one, again, is from Topshop. <laughs> so much stuff in here is from Topshop, but, um, I have decided to include this one because I think having a belt is a really, really great idea, but I think having a pattern belt is really nice, especially when I have some more sort of basic outfits here. So for example, the white t-shirt and the blue jeans, it's quite a basic outfit. And then if you put something like this in with it, it just jazzes it up a little bit more, makes it a little bit more exciting. Um, and so yeah, I just think this is a really nice way of adding texture and adding print to a more basic outfit. And I also think you can wear this during the day and an evening as well. Next up, this is, you know, just one that I had to chuck in there because I absolutely live in my Ray-Bans. So you're gonna see the ring light, sorry about that. But um, these ones, obviously, you've got to bring with you a pair of sunglasses and I decided to bring these because I live in these. But these would probably end up being like on my head or in my handbag um, that I'm gonna take with me anyway, but I wanted to chuck them in there. That's actually just reminded me as well. I have sort of packed this hand luggage case assuming that you do also have a separate smaller handbag. Most airlines do let you. I feel like recently like Ryanair and stuff have stopped that. Um, but I'm assuming that you can at least have like a small cross body bag that you can take day to day um, as well as your little um, hand luggage suitcase. So next up I have included these little scrunchies and the reason that I've included these is because I think they're a really nice way again of dressing up a basic outfit. I think this one is such a nice one day to day, it looks really really nice with white but also goes with beiges as well because it's got that kind of camely print in there. And then I think this one equally you could wear it day to day but I think this works really really nice on an evening if you had like a really nice sort of slick low bun and you tied that up in it it would look nice um, again they're tiny you can just squish them up in your toiletry bag or something um, but they do change up an outfit so I really really recommend them then I just have a pair of pajamas now these are super old they're from Primark they're literally just these little silky shorts and a silky top um, now the reason that I've chosen these obviously they're really lightweight I can squish them up tiny literally I think I could fit that like inside a shoe or something um, and yeah obviously you do your pajamas so I thought I would include them and then I have included an evening bag now I have my little Gucci Marmont here um, the reason that I've chucked this one in is because I think it works so well on an evening um, as a clutch bag or you could wear it as a double strap bag but also works really really well during the day as a bum bag so you can wear it like around your waist or you can wear it cross body I've got a whole video about these which I will link down below if you want to know more about the super mini Gucci Marmon. Equally, just having like a black bag or a more sort of evening appropriate bag is a nice way of changing up a look to make it more evening appropriate just by swapping your daytime bag over to an evening bag. So that's that one. Okay, now I just have a toiletry bag. So I'm just gonna chuck in some toiletries. As I said, this isn't gonna be like a toiletry video, but I wanted you guys to know that I had thought about space for the toiletries. So I'm just chucking in some deodorant, lip balm, hairbrush, moisturizer, a razor, perfume, face moisturizer, and then there's loads of space still in there for you to pop your makeup in, um, and also maybe like underwear and stuff like that. And I'm also gonna put my jewelry bits in there too. So yeah. So guys, this is outfit number one, and this is my airport outfit. So I have on the blue jeans, pair of trainers, black t-shirt and my black leather jacket. It's a really nice, comfy, casual one, but I also think you look quite cool as well. Um, so really good for carrying on to wear as you arrive, if you wanna wear this for day one or anything like that. Um, but it's also nice and warm too with a leather jacket. But then obviously you could take the leather jacket off and this be your look for the first day. So I know this isn't too different from the airport outfit, but I just want to show you, obviously you could chuck on the leather jacket with the white t-shirt. Um, if it's a little bit cold where you've gone or anything like that, um, this one works great and it's still a different outfit because you've got a different t-shirt on, um, which I think changes up the look. Okay guys, so this is a day outfit that I would wear, obviously using the stuff that I'm taking with me. So I've kept the blue jeans on and I've got the white trainers on still. And then I've got the white t-shirt on and this blazer. I think this is so, so nice because obviously the blazer being linen, it's a little bit more casual, um, but it's still a really, really cool outfit. I love the different tones. I just think the trainers make it very sort of chill and you can walk around all day in this. Obviously if you get hot, you can just take off the blazer. So yeah, I really like this outfit. 
Obviously, you could also pair this outfit with the sandals if you did want to um, change up the shoes or anything like that. So they go really, really nicely, obviously, because they are that neutral tone as well. Okay, so this is the next outfit, obviously, with the linen shirt, the same blue jeans and trainers. Um, and I've just popped this on my wrist because I can use it to tie my hair up. Or I just quite like it on my wrist as well, just as like a nice bit of colour. Um, so that's one way of wearing this shirt. You could also tuck this shirt in. So if you tucked it in... Obviously you can see the belt, which I think looks quite cool, um, adds a little bit of texture and the hardware looks nice. Um, so yeah, you could tuck it in like that. You could also tie it in a bow, which I'll show you now. So you could also tie the shirt like this, which I think is a nice sort of casual way of doing it. Um, I would maybe take the belt off because I think there's a bit too much going on there. But yeah, like that. Okay, so I don't know if I'm committing like some kind of double linen crime here, like double denim, but I actually quite like the blazer on top of the shirt. I think if you needed that little bit of warmth um, and you just wanted to change it up a bit, then I think this works really, really nicely. Um, you know, if you don't have a linen blazer, then a normal blazer on top of this shirt would look nice. I also think this look works really, really nicely with the um, sandals. Just makes it that little bit more casual and adds that nice touch of brown in. And then I've also just popped on the leopard print hairband, which I would use to tie my hair up. Um, but yeah, it's cool. Okay, so next up is the trousers, which I paired with the June sandals and the white linen shirt. I think this looks really, really nice. It's a really comfy outfit, but it's also like a little bit smart as well. So it's a really nice one for during the day. Maybe you're going shopping or, you know, whatever sightseeing. I think it's a really, really nice one. You could also pair this look with a pair of trainers as well. Obviously, if you're doing like a lot of walking or something, I think the white of the shirt and then obviously the white of the trainers look quite cool together. So that's another option. So you could also pair this outfit with the blazer and a white t-shirt. Um, I just think that looks really, really nice as well. Another really comfy one, um, but also maybe a little bit warmer with the blazer on. Um, but I think the tones in this work really nicely together as well. Um, so yeah, really like that. Sorry, I've just moved the mirror because I think you can see better. But um, so we are now onto an evening look. Sorry, excuse the mess over there. Um, now onto an evening look where I have paired the high waisted trousers with the black satin shirt. I think this looks really, really nice. I think the high waistedness of this really cinch in your waist and works nicely with the shirt. And then obviously I've paired it with some heels um, and also the black bag. Okay, so this is another evening outfit and it's that um, dress. And this works so so nice if you're going somewhere quite dressy um i don't know i just think it's really really nice and like classy um i obviously just paired it with my heels and then the black bag again but yeah i think this looks really really nice obviously show a little bit of leg as well so you're not too covered up um it's gonna be nice and like breezy obviously you could also chuck the leather jacket over your shoulders as well if you wanted a little bit more warmth it goes nicely with the dress obviously because there is some black in the dress um but yeah so this is another daytime look. So I've just paired the um, dress with my little Gucci bum bag, just wearing it around my waist to be that little bit more casual. And then I've popped on a pair of sandals. It's a really comfy one just for walking around, um, nice and casual, um, but obviously it also looks really, really good in the evening as well. Obviously you could wear this dress with the trainers as well if you're walking around a lot or you want to be a little bit more cash. Um, so yeah. And this is another evening outfit, so I've just paired the black silky shirt um, with the blue jeans, a pair of heels and the little Gucci bag. I also think this would look quite cool with the little snakeskin belt as well, so I'll show you that too. So there we go, that's it with the belt and obviously I just hold this bag as a clutch as well. Um, but yeah. Okay, so you guys would have just seen the cutaways where I tried on the outfits and showed you which outfits work for what and how I put things together and everything like that. Now I'm gonna show you how I pack them. So I'm gonna try and get all of these in here and also maybe show you a couple of tips just to sort of maximize the space in your little holdall. So, first up I'm gonna go in with shoes. So with these ones I normally slide them in together like that um, because they're pretty thin anyway and then I've squished them up against the side like that for example, or against that side, or I'll flatten it. I just have a little play around and see how it works. Obviously I'm going to wear these, so I'm going to pop them down there. And then heels wise, again I like to put them together like that so they don't take up as much room. And I'll stack them in the corner like so. Okay, and then I'm going to go on to clothes. So first thing I'm going to take is this blazer because it's the most bulkiest item. So I'm just going to fold it up like so, in half, and then I'm gonna half it again. And then I'm just gonna stick it in over here, like so. 
it really is just a little bit of playing around and seeing what you can do with the space. Um, so then next up I'm going to take the dress. I thought I'd bring you in a little bit closer so you can kind of see how I do it more. So obviously I have the dress here which I'm going to fold like so and then I'm actually going to roll it. So I'm just going to take the end and roll it up like this. This doesn't work for all clothes but it definitely does work for some of them and it means that you can just sort of like pack it in like that. Next up I'm going to just grab the trousers and I don't really want to roll them um, and I don't want to squish them too much because I don't want them to crease so I'm literally just going to pop them on top of the items I've already um, folded like that. Oh no, I gave my heart away, went a bit too far. That is all my clothing items packed all on one side. Now obviously I have this space here um, and also you know a little bit of space down here. So what I'm going to do is my bag, I'm going to put my belt inside the bag. It's a really good thing to do with accessories, you just pop them inside um, and make sure you're not obviously wasting any space. If I was actually taking this away I'd put it in its dust bag but because I'm not, I'm not doing that right now. Um, and then obviously I'm going to put these accessories inside my toiletry bag, which is in here. So I'm going to pop them in there, along with the scrunchies. And I'm going to put my toiletry bag in here. And then my pyjamas. And I'm going to squish them in this little gap here because I don't really mind about them getting um, messy. I feel like some people might comment on the fact that the bottom of my shoes are close to my... Um, clothes I would just say firstly make sure they're not muddy or anything like that or really dusty and clean them off if they are and also I wouldn't put them next to white or anything that you know you really wouldn't be able to get out I've just popped it next to this black silky shirt because I know that I can just brush that off really easily but if it does bother you you could always put something in between them for example just some tissue or something like that um, but it doesn't really bother me to be honest <laughs> Guys, that is all it. We are all packed and we have so much space left. So, for example, if you wanted to chuck in a pair of straighteners or something like that, you could. Obviously, you could put like your underwear in here, any swimwear you want to take. But, I mean, I'm pretty chuffed with that, to be honest. If you think, you know, you don't want these things all so tightly rolled up, obviously you could move it around now. Um, but there's so much space. So, maybe if you wanted to buy things when you're away, you've got space. So, I'm pretty chuffed with that, that I managed to fit that all in. I'm really, really chuffed with myself. I was actually a little bit worried that I wasn't going to be able to get everything in, but I've got it all in and there's more space, so I could even include some more stuff. If I was going to add anything else to this video, I think I would maybe include a satin slip skirt, um, just because I think they're really, really versatile. You can chuck them on with um, a t-shirt and a pair of heels and it's a nice dressy outfit. Um, and also you can wear it in the day with a pair of trainers. Hopefully this has given you guys a little bit of inspiration in terms of packing for any upcoming trips and also how you can mix and match outfits to make them from daytime to evening. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up and let me know down below what you thought. So thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. I'm off on holiday now. Bye!